Hey everyone, so today we're going to go over the apply and call methods. So here's a simple example I thought about uh, to help you kind of wrap your head around apply and call because I know that they're a little bit confusing as you know methods. So first off, uh, let's just start off with uh, maybe the, we're going to keep track of a score. And uh, we'll just for simplicity's sake, we'll say the score is zero. And also, for simplicity's sake, we'll just have a function that updates the score. So we'll call it update score, and I'm not going to pass it anything. I'm just going to say uh, this dot score plus plus. Okay. And uh, when I run update score, I should uh, well, hang on here. I should be able to just check what my score is. From here. So I'll run this and now my score is 1. And then if I did this again, you know, I could put it again a couple more times. We'll just run that. My score is now 4. So uh, why is this the case? Why does this dot score update score here? Well, if you're um, not familiar with the keyword this, this, if I were to refer to what this is uh, in my console, can clear this out here and we can actually comment this to uh, then we'll get back all this stuff and if you look at the very top of it it just says window the object's name is window so the window object holds the score so when I refer to this dot score I'm referring to window dot score and we can prove that just from looking I guess down it's a little ways down here actually uh, where is it Scroll, remove child. Um, yeah, let's do a command find in here and see if we can find it. 27 matches, boom, 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 boom. And uh, get more stuff here. There we go. There's our score. Okay, does everybody see that? So, score is four. It took a little bit of time to get to it because I had so much code running around. And this is huge. It's a monstrous thing when you try to check out what this is. But anyway, so now that you know that, I'm going to clear this console. And I'm just going to come back here. So this is great. Like, it updates our score. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, conversely, I could have just also said update score without the this. So if I did console log score this time, and of course I've got to call the function too. Otherwise, it's not going to work. I do that, and I run it, then my score is 1. So this dot score and score are interchangeable, which is great. It works. But the main problem is that this is a global variable. So if later on, like I said, score equals 9, or my buddy writes the code next, uh, we effectively kill our score that we were trying to keep track of, and it's no longer 1, well, it's 9, you know, because somebody hard-coded this is bad. Hard code bad. <laughs> Don't do that, right? So uh, instead, uh, there's got to be a better way to like, um, you know, keep track of numbers and then not also, you know, blow things out. So uh, one thing, the best way to like work when you do programming is actually like store all of your, you know, pertinent information into one variable, um, and you can. It's more like uh, this is where object oriented comes into play like you have an object that holds multiple information and you don't want to blow away the object because the object is you know like the one source of information for everything so you know if I had an object called um, the uh, soccer maybe because this is a soccer game yeah you know, like soccer game score then you know I put this in here uh, score is a property or maybe you could even just say this object is a game right so we'll say game and then inside the name of the game is soccer, right? Of course, I'm still hard coding it here, but you know, for simplicity's sake, you know, maybe these get set later, which, which is, you know, like how true like object-oriented programming works, but you know, for simplicity's sake, let's just say like I'm storing all of my information here, not up here in the global where this belongs to window. So let's just comment this out. So um, now uh, I've got this great function here but this function doesn't belong to this object. So how do I get this function, which does this great code, to update the score here? 
because that would be nice. Then I don't have to worry about this score ever getting blown out because I can hide this code somewhere else. You know, maybe I could like minify this or like leave it on somewhere else on a separate server or something like that. Um, and then, you know, just update the scores when I need to, you know, this, or maybe I can minify everything. I don't know. Like I'm just uh, thinking outside the box here. But let's just say like I want to take this and I want to apply it to my score here. Well, JavaScript gives us a function called apply. Um, which belongs to the function object in JavaScript. So it's actually like a method that, you know, like belongs to any function. So just like how I can say game dot, um, you know, result equals day one. Day one, yeah. Right. And then I can console log game. And if I clear this and run it, then you can see that suddenly result was added to my game object. It wasn't there before, but now it's there. Uh, so in that same vein, we can also use update score. I didn't write this, but update score has an apply method on it that belongs to the function update score. And I can just use this with this notation update score dot apply. And then of course the apply function that comes with update score takes a par um, two parameters. It takes a context and it takes uh, an array. So I need to define what that context is going to be and I need to define the array. So the context for me is going to be game because that's the thing that I want to update, right? And then I want to, um, you know, I want to. Uh, send in some kind of array, one, two, three, four, and let's just uh, apply that, and let's just make sure, okay, so this core got dot um, plus plus, look, everything looks fine, so now let's just clear this out, and let's also console log, turn off our console log here, so clear this, run this, so nothing comes back to me, and that makes sense because I haven't console logged anything, so now at this point in the game, <laughs> We'll look at our game and we'll check our score. And we'll see what it is. And it's one. Great. So our apply method works. So this is what apply does. It applies, um, you know, whatever the scores are going to be, and it uh, updates the score. Now, um, the one thing here that it looks kind of weird is that this took in one, two, three, four, and this should really return to us back. Um, I would say ten. Right, that should be the actual score. Um, instead, it gave us one. So uh, the reason for that is because it only updated the score once. Right, the score plus plus. So we need to rewrite our functionality to make this score a little bit better, like more useful for our apply method. Because that's a lot. In, in most cases, your array, you're going to get an array, or you're going to get some sort of like, um, you know, a whole bunch of numbers back. And with the call method, that also belongs to any function. Um, in JavaScript, you can use apply just like you can use call, and you have a context again. We can do game, and we can do one, two, three, four. Of course, um, you know if I run this, um, now we're going to get one and two because uh, well, this is we're only going to get two because it'll run the update score and it'll update the score from uh, zero to one, and then it'll update the score again from one to two, but it doesn't do anything with these parameters, which is kind of lame. So what I'm getting to is, you know, the nice thing about the call and the apply functions is you can add extra, you know, um, scores and, uh, you know, you can, you can do something with this. This is, these are your, you can add extra arguments basically, and you can do something with this. So, you know, if I wanted to rewrite this function a little bit better, maybe I could do something with, um, you know, the extra parameters that are getting sent over. So uh, we can do that with a special word called arguments in JavaScript, and that keeps track of how many parameters or what we pass back, you know, to our, um, to our apply and to our call function. So it's just for simplicity, I'm going to turn off my call, and I'm just going to say we're going to use the, um, the apply method here. So um, we'll just say, uh, for var i equals zero, i less than arguments dot length, and i plus plus, we want to say this dot score plus equals our arguments of i. 
And let's just go ahead and wrap these in brackets just for good practice. And make sure we also have our nice semicolons. And we're going to return this dot score. That's all we're going to do with this function. So now uh, I'm going to clean this up a little bit so that we can look at everything. We'll just uh, delete that. So now let's just clear this and we'll run it. And our score is 10. Great. So uh, that's what I was getting to. You can take the arguments keep track of everything, you know, like every index in our array. So if we have one, two, three, four, with the supply method, it'll get sent over to our arguments, and then we can just update the score in real time, which is really nice because we wrote this code earlier, but you know the game just started, and now let's apply like our great function that's going to update the score um, and keep track of it. So if I wanted to update the score with some more you know, um, numbers, like as I get it coming in, or as your, you know, um, API or whatever you have coming in, 10, 20, oh, wow, it's a big number actually, 13, 17, you know, if I console log this, um, you know, what is our score now? Clear this, run it, we got 171, it's pretty huge. Uh, so, you know, it's really nice to be able to just kind of mess around, um, you know, like with these uh, kind of functions. But the nicer thing is that you can just use this function over and over again just from applying it. Um, and, you know, like if I wanted to just rewrite this again uh, and just try the update.call, update score. Remember this call function, um, call method belongs to any function object in JavaScript. That's just the way JavaScript works. And I pass in the game. Well then, you know, like I can pass in, you know, more numbers here. You know, like let's do something different because we've already said five, six. I mean, we've started said one through four, so we'll do five, six, seven, eight, uh, and we'll console log our game dot score. And let's just also make sure we are. Yeah, our errors went away, so we'll clear this. And we'll run it. And get twenty six. And that's cool. Uh, I think that's right. Uh, 15 plus 11. Yeah, 26. Okay, cool. So it works. So now you, know under you have a better understanding of how apply and call work. I hope this video was useful for you.